Pythagoras, Maths Cast 4. This question could be in either the calculator or the non-calculator paper and can be worth anything from 3 to 5 marks depending on how hard it is. Pythagoras is all about right angled triangles. However, unlike trigonometry where there was always an angle inside, Pythagoras will not have an angle inside. It will give you two of the sides of the triangle and ask you to find the third. The only trick to a Pythagoras question is being able to pick the longest side. I'll put a star by the longest side in these two questions. The longest side is always the one the right angle is pointing towards. It's often the diagonal side but not always the case. You always must be able to find the longest side. So here's our question. We've been given a right angle triangle with two sides 6 and 10 and one side x. Obviously what we need to do is work out what x is. For any Pythagoras question, the first thing you must do is square the sides. 6 squared, 6 times 6, is 36. We write that next to the 6. 10 squared, 10 times 10, is 100, and we write that next to the 10. We now need to decide whether this question is going to be a plus or a minus. This question is a plus because we're looking for the longest side. So any Pythagoras question, if you're looking for the longest side, you put a plus in the middle of the triangle. If you're looking for one of the shorter sides, you put a minus in the middle of the triangle. So 100 plus 36, as we put a plus in the middle of the triangle, we add them up, is 136. We must then square root the number, so the square root of 136. The answer is 11.7. We're now going to try another question, but this time it will be a takeaway. So here's our next question. We're given two sides. We're given 9 and 6, and we're asked to find the third side, x, at the bottom. Again, we must square the sides that we know. 9 times 9 is 81, and 6 times 6 is 36. We write them on the triangle, as I've shown here. We now need to decide whether this will be a plus or a takeaway in the middle of the triangle. This time we put a takeaway in the middle of the triangle because we're looking for the shorter side. So we're going to do 81 take away 36. 81 take away 36 is 45. Now we've got to square root it. Therefore we write square root 45 as I've shown here. The answer is 6.7 which we've worked out on a calculator. Now try the questions on the next slide and ask your teacher for help if you need it.